from an 18-wheeler stuck on the train tracks near Richmond, Virginia, and a massive explosion at a paper mill in southern Maine, to a devastating earthquake in China that shook an entire city, and a wild tornado in Kansas that was almost too perfect to believe. Here are 10 extreme moments caught on dashcam. Chester, Virginia is a small town about 25 minutes south of Richmond. Home to 25,000 people, it's the kind of place where small events make big local news. On September 7th of 2018, the Chester headlines read something like, Train Cuts Semi-Truck in Half. A local man was driving along and enjoying some Johnny Cash. He came upon a railroad crossing to find a semi-truck stuck on the tracks. The truck driver looked pretty panicked. Why? because there was a speeding train barreling right toward him. Thankfully, our driver kept his dash cam rolling. We love how our driver repositioned the car to get a better shot of the crash. He makes up for his somewhat selfish actions by ensuring that everyone is okay. He can't help but feel bad for the poor driver. His body language screams, I give up. Local reporters said everyone inside the truck and train was okay, but it seems like the investigation petered off there. We don't know how the truck got stuck on the tracks. It was either a costly human error or a horrible case of bad luck. Either way, we're happy our resident Johnny Cash fan had his camera rolling. The Republic of Bashkortostan is a Russian state between the Ural and Volga mountains. It covers about 55,000 square miles and is home to 4 million people. That puts them on par with Iowa in the US. And like Iowa, Bashkortostan is prone to some pretty crazy tornadoes. On August 29th of 2014, a powerful wedge tornado touched down near some houses. A local man kept his dash cam rolling as he pulled out of the garage and tried to face the twister head on. Rain pelts his car as soon as he leaves the garage. Things don't look that bad at first, but then the trees start bending as he turns around. Perhaps he was trying to escape the storm, but picked the absolute worst moment to make a break for it. A building is blown away in the distance, and debris crashes into his car. Soon, the wind is strong enough to push him off the road and toward his house. That, or he figured this was a terrible idea and he should get back in the garage. Either way, his garage literally disappears before his very eyes. Aftermath footage shows how devastating the storm truly was. Judging by where it's parked, we think the beat-up silver SUV is our driver's car. Oh yeah, and yes, we know the timestamp says February 12th, 2012. According to the Moscow Times, the timestamp was wrong. Maybe he forgot to calibrate his dash cam or something. Somewhere in Russia, a group of drivers learned a vital lesson in patience. A flood had caused some damage to a bridge over a river. The fact that these drivers even tried to cross in the first place is amazing. They kept things slow and steady, knowing any sudden movements could sink the bridge. Then, they felt something coming behind them. They looked back and could hardly believe their eyes. This guy probably won Jerk of the Year in 2013. How mad would you be? Honestly, 
You were almost halfway across the bridge, and this impatient trucker decided his time was more important. The black car was only a few feet from floating downstream. Thankfully, the bridge came back up and saved it. At least our jerk trucker had the decency to get out and see if everyone was okay. To one of our drivers, this whole ordeal felt like the perfect time for a cigarette. Thankfully, everyone made it to the other side in the end. Now you've probably never heard of Jay, Maine. It's a small town in the southern part of the state and home to about 4,600 people. The Androscoggin paper mill used to be a local landmark, but that all changed on April 16th of 2020. The COVID-19 pandemic triggered widespread layoffs at the paper mill. They had recently let go of 177 workers in July and planned on more cuts as the pandemic continued. Then, on April 16th, everyone lost their job in the blink of an eye. Our two logging trucks were on their way into the mill when it randomly exploded. The giant black cloud stretched into the sky and rained debris for miles. Some of it started hitting our trucker's hood. Yeah, man, I'm gonna get the out of the way here. Yeah. You're going the wrong way here. Yeah. Fuck, you can work these areas. Actually, get the out of the way. Yeah, they got metal plants. They're going everywhere. No. Holy shit. Yeah, they got metal plants. They're going everywhere. No. There were nearly 175 employees inside when the mill exploded. Miraculously, none of them got hurt. Thanks to rigorous safety training, everyone made it out alive and in one piece. But the big question still remains, what made the mill go boom? According to reports, the explosion was caused by a ruptured pulp digester inside the mill. In laypeople's terms, it's a giant pressure cooker meant for breaking down raw materials like grass, wood, and bamboo. Apparently, something went wrong inside the cooker, and it blew the entire mill sky high. On September 5th of 2022, a 6.8 magnitude earthquake rocked Luding County, China. Its location on the Indian and Eurasian fault zone makes it a hotspot for powerful earthquakes. Remember, these are the same plates responsible for creating the Himalayan mountains. The earthquake had devastating consequences across Luding County and Sichuan province. Moments before it struck, some friends went out for a casual drive. Their dash cam caught the moment when the entire city started shaking. You can see dust and debris filling the street as chaos ensues. People hesitate to approach the buildings, fearing they could fall over at any second. Clearly, the safest place to be is in the middle of the street. Our driver takes a corner and parks themselves in the most open area possible. According to early reports, 243 homes crumbled and another 13,000 suffered severe damage. Four hotels were reduced to rubble, and 142 pieces of public infrastructure were nearly destroyed. Dodge City used to be one of those old-school frontier towns you see in Western movies. Today, they're a 30,000-person city in Western Kansas that's more worried about tornadoes than outlaws. The state gets about 92 twisters each year, but May 24th of 2016 was among the craziest days on record. At least 12 tornadoes touched down around Dodge City. Storm chasers flocked from miles around to capture one of them on camera. 
One of those chasers drove up on a Kansas State trooper who might have been trying to block the road. Common sense told him not to drive any further. Uh, paper towel? Oh, no, I'm good. Looks like it's going oh, back shit. left. Shit, shit, shit. 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 Keep you keeping up. Look to the right, Greg. Another tornado to our right. Stop. Amazing. Can you hear it? That's amazing. Can you hear the sound of it? That's crazy. <laughs> These chasers couldn't have captured a more picture perfect storm. They're just lucky it stayed in place for the most part. Perhaps the coolest moment in the entire clip is when the storm shrinks and just vanishes out of nowhere. One chaser called the event a Dr. Seuss book of tornadoes. Instead of one fish, two fish, it was one tornado, two tornado. You'd think an outbreak like this would cause widespread damage, but Dodge City skated by unharmed. Storm chasers could see the town over the horizon. They were worried the 30,000-person city was about to get leveled. Then, at the last second, the storm system shifted and skirted past the city limits. Palm County is a southeastern district in the Tibet Autonomous Region of China. Most of the roads wind between steep mountains. When it gets cold in the winter, the local highways are highly prone to rock slides and avalanches. On April 3rd of 2023, one of those freak avalanches happened alongside a busy two-lane road. The drivers up ahead were wise enough to stop. Meanwhile, our driver backed up to get a better view of the whole thing. After a little time passes, you can see the cloud of snow finally descending on the road. Visibility drops, and our driver must wait until the snow cloud passes. The Tibetan Plateau's location near the Himalayan mountains makes them highly prone to these types of events. Earthquakes, rock slides, avalanches… It's just another Tuesday in Palm County, China. On April 23rd of 2021, a father in Chongqing, China was driving home with his son when he felt a small rock hit the top of his car. Driving down this road seems scary enough. Then, things get scarier when the landslide almost pushes them off the edge. He had lived there long enough to know how frequent rock slides can be. Where there's one small rock, there are probably larger ones on the way. He stomped on the gas and prayed for the best. It's hard to see their narrow escape from our driver's dash cam. Conveniently, someone else was coming around the bend. The other car shows how close the father and son came to driving over the edge. 
He hit the gas at the last second and likely avoided a tragedy. Then they ran for their lives, not wanting to see if any more rocks would fall. Look at how much damage those rocks did to the car. They're lucky they escaped without any injuries. The road was completely blocked off as workers began clearing the debris. With nearly 21 million people, Chengdu is the fourth most populated city in China. That's more than New York, LA, and Chicago combined. On March 7th of 2017, one of those 21 million had the unluckiest day of their life. While driving down a crowded street, the driver of a black SUV quickly changed lanes. This forced a silver sedan onto the shoulder and a truck full of bricks onto the sidewalk. How does that old saying go? Something about a ton of bricks? Kudos to the truck driver for running over and trying to unbury the silver sedan. The question of who's at fault shouldn't be too hard to figure out. All the cars are coming to a stoplight. The black SUV and silver sedan seem like they wanted to change lanes simultaneously. It doesn't look like there's an opportunity to turn right, so we're not sure why either car was so determined to get in the right lane. The black SUV isn't even in a lane. Their actions left our truck driver with two tough choices. Slam on the brakes and hope for the best, or try to go around. Silver Sedan was probably doomed either way. On November 21st of 2013, a group of Russians was out for a nighttime drive when the road suddenly exploded ahead of them. A burst pipe exploded through the concrete just as another car passed over. The other driver had no time to stop and smacked clean into the broken street. A wave of brown liquid shoots from the road. It was either mud or something much, much worse. Imagine all the things you can crash into while driving. You can hit another car, a barrier, or a fire hydrant. This guy literally hit the road. The driver and passengers look okay as they get out of the car. Those standing on the street were lucky the road didn't collapse any further. If you want to see another video just like this one, be sure to click the link on screen now. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.